Hey, hey YouTube. Um, I was just getting all of my shipments together to mail out today and I thought, man, have I learned some things about shipping over the years. Like I remember those first few days of shipping, okay, those first few months maybe of shipping. Guys, I would mark everything like parcel post. I would mark, um, I thought that priority mail was an upgrade from first class. Like first class was the base level and then you could get priority. I know at one point, I think I thought first class meant like it was special. I had so many questions. Maybe these are some of the questions you have about shipping. You want to get into reselling. You want to get into online sales. But how in the world do you ship? Like it seems like a monster mountain that you don't want to climb. Well, I'm thinking back to some of the things I've learned. Um, and I know I can help you. I absolutely know that I'm going to um, in, uh, instill some value into your reselling life today. Even if you're a seasoned reseller, I can almost guarantee you're going to learn something in today's video. So um, let's talk about shipping. The very first thing you need to know after you've um, sold an item is you have to package it. You have to to package it up inside of the package that you're going to ship it in. These are twist tie bread bags from uh, Walmart. You get a hundred of these for less than four dollars at my store. This is a clear bag and you just fold a t-shirt, fold whatever the item is and slip it right in there. Let's just say I sold some Hot Wheels cars. I'm going to slip it right in there. I'm going to fold it over. This is a nicer presentation. If the box were to get wet, hopefully it would protect the item inside. I take one of these stickers, just a, a generic little thank you sticker with flowers on it. Sorry that it's backwards, guys, but um, I find these on eBay. I have a roll of black ones and a roll of white ones. I'm going to put the sticker right here to just secure that down. There's my little thank you. That's the only reason it's a sticker is it um, something has to secure that bag closed and it's a nice way to say thank you. And then if you order from me on Poshmark, you get this pretty sparkly gold card. I ordered these. Eh, maybe you can see that it's gold. There's like a gold glitter down here, but it's not real glitter. It's just a picture. Um, I ordered these on Vistaprint. I have still not gone through the first box of these. And then if you order from me on eBay, you get this card that says thanks. And on the back, it says eBay, your order made my day. I hope this package makes yours. And then over here in this spot, I take a Sharpie and I write, thank you and God bless. Thank you for the sweater. Hope it looks amazing on you. Um, enjoy the Hot Wheels. God bless. And this goes right inside of it. All right, the item's packaged. Now, how do we actually package it to mail it? First things first, let's decide if the item is less than a pound or not. If the item is 16 ounces or less, and first class will go all the way up to 16 ounces, but if it is under a pound, guys, you can mail it first class. Really in the higher range, the 14, 15, 16 ounces, depending on where you're mailing it to, it may it may be more cost effective to just go ahead and send it priority. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna say that if it's under, if it's under a pound, you can mail it first class, all right? I just threw my eBay tape. These I get from eBay, again, sorry, it's backwards, but I get these from eBay for free for having a store. You get a, a coupon that you can use on any type of shipping supplies. I use it on these, the thank you cards I just showed you and the tape that I just threw across the room. So I'll just show you another roll. We're in my office today. Um, I have this eBay tape. So if it's less than a pound, it's going to have to go into some unmarked package that you purchased or received, be it a box that you want to reuse, um, a poly mailer. These, this is what folks refer to when they're saying poly mailer. It cannot go in priority mail. This free postage that you get from USPS.com, get it delivered to your house. You should be doing that. You cannot mail these first class items in that. That is priority mail only. So if it's under a pound, we're going to put it in here. And how do you tell if it's under a pound? You gotta weigh that sucker. I use this good old fashioned kitchen scale. Guys, you don't have to be fancy about it, okay? This goes up to five pounds. It tells me by the ounce how much it weighs. If it is under a pound, it's gonna go in a poly mailer um, in some type of a box. Yes, you absolutely could use a small box that's lightweight. I mailed two things yesterday, um, first class, and they were in boxes. So this is gonna be first class, under a pound. Let's say it's over a pound. What do I do now? Well. Your first option may be to go with a flat rate. This is a flat rate envelope. I have a video out. I need to make a new one, an updated version of how you can get boxes and big things, even a pair of shoes inside this envelope. I have a video on that. Go back and search for that video. I'll try to link it in the description if I can. Um, 
but you can fit a lot in, in these. These are just under $8 now. I want to say like $7.50. I can't even keep up. USPS changes their prices all the time. When I first started reselling, these were $6 and change. And that wasn't that long ago. Um, there is a padded version of that that's like bubble wrap made into an envelope. Um, so those are going to be your cheapest options going priority mail traditionally. I want you to know that there's a difference in, this is a priority mail flat rate box. This is a priority mailing box. There's not a lot of size difference here. This one's going to be flat rate. You could stick a five pound brick in this. Anything up to 75 pounds with priority mail flat rate. If you put a 75 pound brick in this, you're in trouble. You're going to pay for 75 pounds. So ensure that if you're wanting it to be flat rate, it needs to say flat rate. This one just says mailing box. Mailing boxes are not flat rate boxes, okay? These are really easy to assemble, to fold. Um, you get these delivered free to your house, USPS.com. Um, another thing that I was not aware of, so we've covered the difference in priority. Priority is over a pound, remember? And we have covered the difference in first class. You know what flat rates are. Flat rates, you can get an envelope, a bubble envelope. Those are the two cheapest. And then that box that I just showed you, the small flat rate box, is your next cheapest option. From there, it goes up to a medium flat rate, a large flat rate. What are regional rate boxes? You can see regional rate box A, and I have some regional rate box B somewhere around here. Maybe this one's a, a box B. Regional rate box B. All right. What are these? When would I ever use something like this? Regional rate box A is going to mail your item, is going to charge you as if whatever you put in this box weighs two pounds. Going to Texas, how much does it cost to get to your, from your house to Texas for two pounds? Um, going to California, everyone always talks about California because apparently no resellers are there. Um, how much does it cost two pounds to get from your front door to California? That's regional box A, okay? So if it is um, three pounds, try to fit it in a regional box A. Regional rate box A, up to four pounds because when you get to four pounds, you need to be using a regional um, box B if you can. Um, if, it, if it's bigger and it won't fit, I shouldn't say by weight. If it will fit in here, Ship it this way. It weighs this two pounds. Uh, ships this two pounds. If it will not fit, then go up to a regional B, and regional B charges you a four pound rate. So whatever it would cost you to send four pounds to Florida, that's what you can fit it in this box. It's gonna uh, mail for four pounds. That is tremendous, you guys. Um, priority mail tape. You cannot cannot get this for free on the website. Um, I actually did get this for free because my postal workers are the bomb and they are so much cooler than your postal workers. This tape is really good. This is not tape. You can get these for free. These are labels. If you have just a generic box, let's say I was going to mail these shoes in their actual shoe box, which I would never recommend, and I wanted to ensure that they treated it as a priority mail, I could slap this on there somewhere, but this is not tape. Now, I have had someone tell me recently, my friend Brittany told me, uh, a postal worker told her, if you use this as tape, it voids your insurance. Comment below if you know if that's true or not. Um, I just wouldn't use it as tape to be on the safe side. Um, I have taped labels on with this before, but I probably won't do that until I can verify whether or not that's true. Um, I use this priority mail tape though that I got, and I think you can buy it probably. Um, I use this on my Poshmark packages and I use the eBay tape strictly for eBay packages. So when can you not mail priority? If you're mailing perfume. Priority mail guys, um, more often than not, it has the potential it could be uh, transported by plane. You can't, you cannot um, mail perfumes and things like that. I think under a certain amount, maybe you can. It's just, you're better safe than sorry. If you have a question about the item that you're mailing, ask your postal workers. You don't want to get in trouble with USPS because you decided to mail a bottle of perfume. And that is one of the reasons why Poshmark says do not um, sell perfume is because all of their packages go priority mail. You cannot mail liquids in priority mail. That's when you need to select parcel post. Um, that's when you need to select some type of a different option. So um, purchasing through Poshmark, shipping is always the same. The buyer pays the shipping and you uh, print the label that they uh, give you. Through eBay, you absolutely can buy your postage through the app and or through the website, and that is now taken out of the funds that they normally would have deposited. Um, or if you don't have enough available, then they can take it out of your PayPal. 
you do get a discount with USPS. You get a really hefty discount with FedEx. Um, I only FedEx if the items are very um, big, heavy, or really expensive because I have had 11 insurance claims with USPS uh, last year and I had none before. USPS fell apart in 2020. Um, so if it's super expensive, I usually go with FedEx. I just do um, because they didn't honor all of those insurance claims and it was an absolute headache. So avoid the insurance claims if you can. My best advice would also be, I don't know why people just go drop their packages off. I absolutely treat this like my business and I stand in line with my little scan sheet, with my items, and I get things scanned in and I get a receipt back for it because I have had to use those receipts on insurance claims. I have had to use those receipts to show a buyer once that bought weights from me that I did not mail them five pounds of weights, that the, the package weighed 35 pounds when it went out. And I had that receipt that showed I dropped off a 35 pound package to their zip codes. So um, I get that receipt every single time. Sometimes I have my postal carrier pick up from my house, but it's pretty seldom. Um, I, like I say, I treat it like a business. The post office is not that far from my house. Um, if you need it to be your side hustle for a while, drop your packages off, do whatever you need to do. But I'm just giving you my best advice. So under a pound, use first class. Over a pound, priority. Start with the flat rates if you can. Um, go to USPS.com and get your uh, free boxes, free bags, free envelopes. No free tape though. And uh don't mail liquids in priority. Those would be my top three tips. And get a scale. Get a scale. In addition to the scale, you need a tape measure because if you're using these free boxes that USPS sends you, then they have the um, dimensions on the box and you can just plug that right in whenever eBay or if you're using like pirate ship as a shipping provider, you can plug those dimensions in. If not, you're gonna need a measuring tape so you can measure those boxes, okay? You need that to resell anyway because people need to know measurements on things that they're buying from you, even if you're not selling clothing. So um, if you have other questions, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to do a follow-up video to this or just answer your questions in the comments. God bless you guys. Happy reselling.